And joining me now, Joe Gamaldi, top official with the Fraternal Order of Police. Joe, what's your reaction to, it's good to see, you, what's your reaction to Governor Hochul saying the system failure, failed uh, this, uh, this woman who's now dead from a murder? I mean, Democrats talk about social justice and civil rights. What greater civil rights violation is there than releasing a felon from prison who goes on to murder an innocent citizen? What's your take on Kathy Hochul here? You know, for the life of me, I can't understand any rational person that still supports this crap. And she's the governor. She could have already changed it. I mean, anywhere they have done bail reform, it has been an abject failure. In Harris County, Houston, 200 people have been murdered by suspects that were already out on multiple felony bonds. The failure to appear rate is at 82%, Liz. 82% of people aren't showing up for their court dates. In Cook County in Chicago, the bail reform there has released people. Nearly 50% have committed another violent crime while they're out. And we, and additionally, we've seen the same data coming out of California. You know, these Democrats, they act like bail reform is some huge accomplishment when all it's been is a complete disaster. You know, to, you know, President Biden, Joe, last year said he wants cities to follow New York's lead on crime. Cities and states to follow New York. Crime is up double digits in New York City. Democrat Senate candidates, including Raphael Warnock, Sherry Beasley, Tim Ryan, and Mandela, Mandela Barnes in Wisconsin, all support ending cash bail. They all want no bail. It's going to lead to more criminals back on streets and criminals taking priority over, over victims and citizens. No, you're absolutely right. I mean, the revolving door criminal justice system is driving these massive increases in crime. And I don't know how other way to think about it than this. They don't care about victims. The Democratic Party, these people that are running for office that are still supporting bail reform, that are supporting these rogue DAs, they don't give a damn about these victims. These are mothers, fathers, daughters, sons who are being murdered in our streets. Statistically, it is the most dangerous time in this country that it has been in 30 years, and yet these people act like it's a joke. I mean, everybody needs to get serious about crime, and I certainly yeah. hope that people going in and voting for the midterms are taking it seriously. Watch uh, senior Biden advisor Keisha Lance Bottoms try to blame Trump for crime. Watch this. I also want to remind the American people that this uptick in crime was experienced in 2020. This is when this began, and, and the American people know who the president was at that time. What do you say, Joe? You know, I've gotten so used to this false narrative, it's so easy to counter. Actually, the huge increase in crime started in 2018. It increased in 2019, and we started sounding the alarm then that it was due to rogue prosecutors and activist judges who kept letting criminals out over and over again. And you know what President Trump did? He invited us to the White House and tried to give us any resource we could need to stop this. President Biden hasn't invited us there to have a summit on crime in this country, despite the fact that we're seeing historic people being murdered, historic numbers that we haven't seen. And it's impacting our minority communities the worst to the tune of 12 times the homicide rate for black Americans yes. to everyone else. So where's the outrage? Defund police, no cash bail, all of that started in 2020. Let's show a lot of that started. Let's show what the polls say voters want on crime, that weak on crime policies put criminals over constituents. That's a fear among voters uh, and, and law-abiding citizens. And we also have sound that we want you to listen to, Joe. You're going to hear from the voters themselves. Watch this. I am going to vote Republican this absolutely for every the district at uh, the top level. Uh, after what the Democrats have done to this country in the last uh, year or so, I do not understand how people can continue to vote Democratic. Every time someone's being let out on the street again and again, they're doing a disservice and they're pretty much saying that these victims' traumas were in vain. This man intentionally tried to kill us. The shot went through my door to the pillar to the kitchen. I was cooking food for my kids. And I had asked the judge, I said, how many more women does this defendant have to hurt for it to matter to this court? They're out here on these streets committing murders after murders because no one is held accountable in court. I went to the side of my bed and I grabbed our gun. He kicks the door in. As soon as he kicks the door in, he tries to take a step in my house. That's when I shot him, and he ran off. So if I didn't have any kind of weapons, I don't know what I would have did. I mean, I've never thought I would have to shoot that gun, ever. I didn't have time to be afraid. It was all fast. I mean, literally from the time they got out of that car to where they came in was at most 10 seconds. This isn't a good place to pick. 
You know, this is just embarrassing. And it's, it's, it's a shame and it's immoral. It's just evil. You know, what is going on for minority women, minority children, women in general, the elderly, the vulnerable in our nation, Joe, you know, it's like, it's like people don't care. You know what I mean? Elected officials don't care who did all this. The worst part is, Liz, we can fix this. It doesn't have to be like this. And the American people aren't stupid. They see what's going on in our streets right now. And I assure you, there is going to be a reckoning at the ballot box because people are tired of crime and disorder in their streets. They want their kids to be safe. They want their families to be safe. And they want to be able to raise their kids in a safe community, which is what we all want. Thank you, Joe Gamaldi. Thanks for having, coming on the show. It's good to see you. We'll have you back on again soon.